yeah, so our technology is based on actually a really old style of actuator called McKibben muscles. It was invented in the 1950s, so many decades ago, actually, probably by someone named McKibben or something like that. I couldn't find any history on that specifically. But, um, yeah, they've actually been around for a long time, uh, but they've never really been commercially viable. And essentially, we've improved upon this existing design pretty substantially. And we believe we have a very strong position to actually utilize these in much broader applications than they ever have been before. That's cool. So does the McKibben muscle include like the pneumatic ones as well? And, and kind of any muscle that like it's the outer sheath that, you know, helps it contract and you've got like a rubber bladder on the inside, basically. Yeah, exactly. No, that that's, that's exactly correct. So any, any McKibben muscle can be any type of fluid, whether it's air oil, water, you know, whatever, but it has that rubber bladder inside and it has a braided sleeve outside. And as you know, you expand or, or sorry, pressurize the bladder, which expands radially causes that sleeve to contract axially. So ultimately it behaves somewhat similar to a human muscle, 